Hi guys, it's Shala from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. We are back for the last installment of our start to finish fairy dreams journal from Liana Scrap. So this was super fun. Uh, we started with doing the cover and we did the brown paper bag over top of a hard book and we did an open back uh, exposed spine, sorry, exposed spine binding on it. Um, so let's go ahead and do a quick flip through on this. So we've got a front here where it says Fairy Garden. Again, this is the Fairy Dreams kit from Liana Scrap that I am using. Um, if you turn the first page, this is usually where I clip in my um, letter from the journal maker that I send with each one of my journals. So it's a little note to the recipient of the journal. So I usually tuck that in the front. Just have a cute little fairy glued down to this page. Adding the lace really was, um, I think, just made the whole book look so pretty. Here we have a paper bag that we decoupaged on and then we have this large journaling tag. I just love the wings on that little Tim Holtz girl. I think that's so much fun. Lots of space to write. That was kind of my goal. I didn't want to over decorate just because it had already started out pretty, pretty thick. Got some doily. Then we have um, a tuck little uh, spot here from the uh, kit itself. And then just a little, oh, hello cat. Um, a little journaling card and then another bigger journaling card just with a 3D flower on the front. I just think that looks so pretty. coffee dyed ledger paper. This is the center of the first signature and then I did put these little gems, or not gems, um, metal embellishments. This one says believe. I don't know if you can see that. It says believe. I think that is so pretty. So that's just using the uh, strings from the binding. We have the side flip here from that uh, coffee dyed journal paper with a little cluster. Lots and lots of space to write. Then we have another little side tuck that we created with a piece from the um, journal kit. I have here a little paper matchbook that I made uh, previously that I just had in my little basket of ephemera stuff so I thought that would be fun to add this in there. And then another little tag I previously had. Just a spot to journal on. Tuck that in. Sorry, hopefully you can see that okay. Again, these beautiful papers that my daughter did for me. She did such a great job. And vintage bingo card that we made into a journaling card and added some lace. Some coffee dyed graph paper. Uh, this is the um, dye digital kit, um, the digital kit with these dyed papers, and this is from Roxy Creations that I put on the back of this. So that's the first signature. The second signature, again, we have a little pocket from the kit. Um, another little piece from the kit, I just added some lace to it, a little journaling spot. This is the little folio that we made together. And it opens up and then it's got some ephemera bits in it. So just some little tickets. And then this uh, card from that kit that I got off of Amazon. And it says, Believe Magic is there where you believe. So dream big things you can achieve. And I just that, thought that was so cute. So we'll tuck this all back in there. And again, a little space for the recipient to write. I'll tuck that back in. Lots and lots of space to write. Again, another that little oval pocket that we made with the guest check that's got some embellishing on and they can write on the back. More graph paper and a doily. 
She is so cute. I just love that. The purple is my favorite color, along with this blue. <laughs> Those are my two favorite colors. Uh, so this is the coffee dyed ledger paper where we had folded over and I just made it a side tuck. Did some embellishing. And then in here I have a journal card that you can write on. And then I also have just this beautiful little fairy poster kind of thing. And you can write on the back just this picture with a little mouse. I thought that was so cute. Tuck that in. Again, we're at the center of this signature, and for this one, I chose the word play. I just thought that was so cute as well, especially with her on the swing. Here we have a little envelope from the kit, and in here I have some coffee dyed paper with a little fairy poem on it. Again, space to write on the back for journaling. I think envelopes are so much fun in journals. And I like, um, I didn't want to glue it on straight. I want it to have it just kind of, kind of a little cockeyed uh, just to add some whimsy to it. And then this is a little piece from the ephemera kit that I just fussy cut out and glued onto the page. Here we have our window envelope that houses this journal card that I made. Just some simple collaging and book page. And I rounded the corners and this little fairy you can see perfectly through the window. Look at that. So pretty. And then our final few pages we do have, I did create this um, book page envelope or book page uh, pocket and did some simple collaging on it and then inside I tucked in this specimen card that I made I thought that was cute and then just a few little images of fairies and then again you can journal on the back of these and then that brings us to the end of our fairy journal. So I really enjoyed making this with you guys. I hope that uh, you enjoyed uh, crafting along with me. Um, this journal will be going to my craft fair that is happening uh, tomorrow. So if it doesn't sell, I will go ahead and list it up on my Etsy. But I can't imagine that it won't sell. It's so cute. So <laughs> thanks so much guys for joining me and P.S. I love you. Hey guys, I would love to do a snail mail swap with you. So go ahead, check out my address there. Send me some of your creations. I'd love to feature them on my YouTube channel. And I'd love to send you a little something back. Let's spread the crafty love with each other. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. Even better, send me a comment. I'd love to know what you have to say. Thanks again, guys. And P.S. I love you.